Hello, Tigers. Welcome back to another episode of Tiger TV. Did you manage to catch the classical evening by our West Orchestra? I sure did. It was a great show. So many musical talent at our school. Here's the highlight of the evening's performance. Calling all grade 9 and 12 students, this one's for you. We've got a new exciting ASA for next semester by Mustard Tech, a social profit organization called Empathy Design Lab by WIS. We're here with two secondary students, Sarah and Jake, who are lucky enough to be the first WIS students to take a part of this Empathy Design Lab this semester. Thanks a lot, scholarship grant for the WIS Foundation. Hi, Sarah and Jake. Can you tell us more about what Empathy Design Lab is about? Okay, so the Empathy Design Lab is a service learning opportunity where uh, students can, uh, well, we created a product to help uh, a blind person navigate um, where, uh, in tight spaces. Can you tell us more about the prototype that helped you design and create during the sem semester's Empathy Design Lab with Mustard Tech? Yeah, okay, so as you can see, this is our prototype, and it's basically a navigation device where, um, okay, so this is the sonar, uh, meaning the closer you get, the, yeah, as you can hear, it beeps. So Jake did the 3D printing, I did the coding, and um, Hannah did, Hannah is another member of Mustard Tech. We, uh, she helped design this prototype, and it just helps, um, Tian Bao, who was the, pers who was the blind person uh, we were partners with, um, just help him navigate in tight spaces. Wow, that's really cool. What's your favorite part of the ASA? Um, I, think, I think it's just that uh, Mustard Tech was created from empathy. So um, I think it was really cool to work with um, people. Like I've, I've never met a blind person in my entire life, so I thought it was pretty cool to actually interact with um, people, new people. Would you say this is a good service learning opportunity and why? Well, it's obviously a great service learning opportunity because um, you're helping people in need and you are creating a, a um, product that normally high school students don't really do. We understand that this ASA is only open to grade nine to 12 students. How many students are needed? Um, in the semester two uh, after school activity, um, the required amount is eight to 12 students uh, from grades nine to 12. And the cost is 3,800 RMB for all of semester two, which seems like a lot, but it amounts to 170 RMB per hour. Who can students contact for any further questions? Um, if you have any uh, questions, you can ask either me or Jake or Hannah. Um, you can send an email. But regarding the actual ASA, uh, Master Tech, you should contact Ms. Gibb, um, the humanities teacher. <laughs> Thanks so much for talking with us about this. Our high school boys and girls team will be busy on the court this weekend. They'll be playing away at Acumis Championship all day, Friday through Sunday. The games will take place at YCIS, Pusi, and SIS Hotel. Wish our Tigers the best of luck. Go, Go Tigers! tigers. <laughs> Last week, in getting to know a tiger, we spoke with Marius. Any idea which of his statement was the, a lie? Hmm. Let's hear from Marius himself. So, I did live in four continents. I do have an album dropping January 27th, available on all streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, QQ. I can ride the bike without touching the handlebars, and sadly, I do not have a dog at home. Oh, okay, that's all for this time. We hope you have an awesome week ahead. Stay warm, stay cheerful, and see you next week. Bye. Really?